And that is video from a witness showing what led up to a shooting at a protest today where a statue of Juan de Oñate was supposed to go back up. But up until last night, the plan was to return that statue of Juan de Oñate to a courtyard just outside the county building in Española. Well, that plan got canceled over safety concerns. Now we see why. No statue went up, but as you saw, there was still serious violence. We have team coverage tonight from our crews in Española. Tommy Lopez is uncovering what we know about the alleged shooter. We want to start, though, with Spencer shot who witnessed this shooting as it happened. Spencer, you called 911 right away. Uh, so glad you and Adon, our photographer, are okay. So what did you see that, that led up to the shooting today? Well, Tessa, essentially it was a case of protesters versus counter protesters. Now, the protesters who were out here celebrating that the Oñate statue did not go back up today were just feet away from this cement block that is right in front of the county building. But that is when uh, the moment when a counter protester rushed towards the group, jumping over this wall and started running towards them. And that's where we see that it gets picked up here by this video from Instagram. You can see the counter protester who we were later able to identify through Facebook as Ryan Martinez ran towards the crowd and was tackled by the folks who were against the Oñate statue. He then, they were able to take off his Make America Great Again hat as he jumped back over the wall and pulled out a gun, fired one shot, striking a protester. Organizers from today's protest say there was no need for this violence, but they aren't surprised that it happened. There's so much precedence for telling people like this young man, this shooter, um, that they're going to get away with it. And I fully believe he did this thinking that he would get away with it. Now, state police were able to arrest Martinez just a short time later. But protesters say this is a perfect example of why they were out here in the first place. This demonstrates exactly what we were fighting for. We have been pointing out that this hasn't been just about a statue, but about what it represents and the legacy of violence and hate that it, it um, is a foundation for. Now, after this shooting, I was able to call the chair of the Rio Reba County Commission, who's a big proponent for putting the statue back up on that pedestal. I asked him after everything that happened this afternoon, does he still want that statue to be put up? Here's what he had to say. If it was up to me, that statue would go back up. When? I don't know. But the fact of the matter is that I am not going to melt that statue just to satisfy two or three individuals that are not even from this valley. Now, the county commission meeting that was scheduled to happen tonight has been postponed until October 5th. That decision was made before the shooting happened, but there is no word yet on the fate of the Oñate statue on whether or not it will be put up. And if it is, when? Back to you. Spencer, good work today. We're glad you're safe. Let's get over to Tommy Lopez now, who got a short update from the Rio Arriba County Sheriff's. Tommy, what they say? Yeah, it was short, Ryan. We still have a lot of unanswered questions tonight amid this investigation. Law enforcement officials are hardly saying anything at all. The Rio Arriba County Sheriff did speak here just about an hour ago, and they did give a, an update just saying there is no update on the victim's condition. We do have video of them on a stretcher today, and the sheriff says they are still getting medical care. They're not naming the victim. Sheriff Billy Merrifield thanked his deputies. We saw them there before the shooting, but not when it happened. I asked him why his deputies were not there. He said he's not taking questions right now. Once again, the saddest part about this is we have another incident with gun violence. The sheriff said he had voiced safety concerns before today about the rededication of the statue. Having said all that, it is state police who are handling the investigation. Law enforcement officials have not released the suspect's name, but we have confirmed his identity through witnesses and through his social media profiles. We're going to name him tonight. He is Ryan Martinez. We are seeing an image here from today from our video. It shows him holding a gun. We have learned more about Martinez from his Facebook page. He has posted links recently to articles on today's protest. He has posted pictures of himself with a Make America Great Again hat like we saw him in today. And one where he's standing next to a Tesla. It appears to be the same one that we saw him driving today. Again, he is in custody. And we have just learned tonight that the city of Española police chief, Mizel Garcia, arrested the suspect with the aid of Powake police. We will let you know when we learn more. Back to you. Yeah, a lot to follow in this investigation, Tommy. Thanks. This is the statue in question. 
It was taken down in 2020 in Alcalde following protests around the country over controversial figures. The statue has been the source of controversy even for decades. Its foot getting hacked off back in the 1990s. And of course, this shooting brings back awful memories of the violence in Old Town Albuquerque at yet another protest over another Oñate statue. This was back in June 2020. Protesters surrounded that statue of Juan de Oñate near the Albuquerque Museum. The protest, though, also attracted armed militia members, including Stephen Ray Baca, who police say assaulted two women and then shot a man multiple times. Baca took a plea deal earlier this year. That's him right there in the blue shirt. His sentencing is scheduled for November. City crews removed that statue from that area the day after the shooting. The statue's fate is still in limbo. The city's race history and healing project recommended later in 2020 it not be returned to that site. All this continues to unfold today. Uh, Tess and the team are working on continuing coverage for you tonight at 10 o'clock. And of course, as always, on KB.com.